Have we... Oh, I don't know what happened! <laughs> that was weird. My, my whole computer j Oh, there goes Discord. Oh my god. My whole computer just shuddered and everything turned off. Now there we go, hi. Hi? I, I don't know what happened. My computer just shuddered and everything turned off. All of my applications crashed. There we go. Oh boy. I'm no longer speaking to you, only in your mind. I'm now visible on your computer screen. But Heaton, how are you going to sneak up on them if they can see you? Don't worry about it. Heaton is now out of the peripheral vision and the monitors. Listen, just always remember that there's a stream delay. This could be pre-recorded, you don't know. Also, good news, Mahalas has dug into my brain. He lives in there now. <laughs> it's nice in here. It's cozy. And I can live here rent-free? Hell yeah. So, we were supposed to be over on Dr. Crafty's stream today, but that got cancelled. And then I was like, I want to draw today! Um, and then I had a thought about what I wanted to draw, and that made me so sad that I decided I was just going to play Minecraft instead. <laughs> what a progression of events. Yeah. Let it do be that way. Listen, there's a thing that I did a lot of work for that I was really excited to make, and... Uh... Some people in my comment sections ruined it, and now I'm just not gonna post it, because I don't want to deal with the... The consequences? I don't want to deal with the- not, I guess not the consequences, because I wasn't- it's not like it was a bad thing, but I, I don't want to deal with the, the bullshit that comes with it. Oh? I had a whole thing planned that I was gonna talk- I had two- well, actually, I had a whole video series and some, um... Uh... Some art videos planned I was gonna talk about Kenshin, but... Mm, but those comments, I imagine, yep. got brought up. Uh, I feel like uh, it is my moral obligation to inform you. Uh, it's my favorite thing in the world. You think I don't know? You think I'm not aware? I'm so painfully that's... aware. I'd like to be less aware. That's why. Uh, that's why if I if I was in like a similar position. I would just start the video by going, yes, I know! <laughs> just, oh. like, as, as loud as I feasibly can. When I did the autism stream, I had to put on bright in bright red letters on the fucking stream. I was like, I know, don't bring it up, you'll be timed out. Oh yeah, no, that's, that's why in the video you just start it with, yes, I I'm know. aware! 
To tackle the it's elephant. Like, Shut in the up. <laughs> to tackle the elephant in the room. Clears throats. Megaphone sounds. I am aware. It is so difficult to not be aware. <laughs> I think that's the part of it that really fucking irritates me. Is the like, oh, you must not know. It's like, do, how do you think I don't know? Fucking ever, it's the only thing anybody, nobody actually talks about the show on its own merits anymore. It's the only, the only way that motherfuckers will actually talk about my favorite thing in the world is to be like, hey, did you know that the creator's a pedophile? And I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm aware, I know. Do I have? I do. Don't work. How do I fucking? How do you motherfuckers do this? I don't know. I don't know what you're trying to do. Find this waterfall. Oh. I I can never do it. You just go up. But I, I just hold up and then I fall out. Now I'm going up. See, and then I fall out. Actually, I don't see. I'm on a delay. Oh, I was, I was streaming the chat and then I forgot I had to close the window. Oh! Hang on. Hang on, I'm- oh god, come on! I mean, if I wanted to make the joke, though, I'd just- I'd just sit here and go, Well, you do have two unspent- uh, uh, you do have two unspent knowledge points. I do have two unspent knowledge points. Uh. And put one into how to climb waterfall. <laughs> how to become salmon. How to become salmon. <laughs> And it's like a uh, skill issue, and I'm like, ah, oh, <laughs> cry. Okay, come here, you. I didn't mean to use this to get all the way up here, but uh, I'm up here now, so. Do I have a. I don't have a bucket on me. Shit. Well, you know, it is what it is. Uh, Bingus. Oh, that's the wrong. Alright. Now. Wait, I better plug that one too. Fucking go. Die. <laughs> What is going on on your stream? I don't- I don't know. My- it, did it just- game crash? The game, in fact, did just crash. Okay, cool. Uh. I... <sighs> well, yeah. You have a CSP window open. I'm having- Smile. I'm having one of those days. I'm gonna- I'm trying to reboot it again. See if it works. <sighs> Actually, I have an idea. Hmm. If, if- if Minecraft doesn't want to boot, I do have an idea. What's your idea? Wobble. Wobble. Life. Weeble wobble. Weebly life. <laughs> My brain power is so low today. That's why I wanted to play Minecraft, is because I could just- I can mine the blocks. Fuck you, unmines your craft. Yeah, no shit. Uh... What comments? I am confused. Oh, so, okay. Uh, I guess we're doing this now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. I'll. I'm, well, I mean, it's my fault. I brought it up. So, running Kenshin is my favorite thing in the world. It's my favorite thing in the entire universe. It brings me joy. It's my special interest. It's like defined so much of my personality and blah blah blah. It's so important to me. Blah blah, blah whatever. 
the creator's a pedophile. And like, and when I say that, I don't mean like, oh, he got, you know, he got caught flirting with high school girl. He was caught with so much child porn that he was charged with intent to distribute. So that's fun. <laughs> So now, I can't talk about it in any way, shape, or form without having a hundred comments or just a bunch of people making the same, like, Oh, well, you know that the create Yes! I do. I know. So now, I just can't talk about my favorite thing anymore. And the problem is that because it's old and kind of because the problem is all because the series is old and it was kind of neat and it's kind of niche now i have two people i can talk to they are realm and you know lion right hmm you know what you do in that scenario right hmm indoctrinate the rest of your friends into it i keep Trying. <sighs> I died. <laughs> what do you mean I died? You mean I drowned? You're smelly and I hate you. <sighs> Load in my death pin. There we go. Teleport to waypoint. Oh shit, where the fuck am I? Transfer items. You know what? Fuck you, actually. Um. But yeah, I've been... I've been trying. I got Brooke, Justin... Uh... I got Brooke, Justin, Dio, uh, and Crafty to watch a little bit of the new one with me. Avi watched the whole- all of the new series with me. And I want them to watch the, uh... They were confirmed for season two, so I want them to watch the Kyoto arc with me as well. I'd like to get more of our friend group into it, but again, it's kind of a niche subject matter. Not everybody's weird yeah. histor- Every Not everyone in our friend group is as, fan of is as much of a fan of weird historical revisionist fan fiction as I am, unfortunately. Uh, I mean, maybe not, but you'd be surprised what you can get people into. It's true. Listen, I am nothing if not- it's nothing if not one of my few skills. I'm the reason that, uh, M.O. became obsessed with Trigon. Well, uh... Were you the person who got me into the SCP Foundation? I don't know if I'm, I'm the- say that. I don't know if I'm the person who got you into it, but it's something you and I- It's an interest you and I share. One of the few. Listen, I- if you ever, like, have time and desire, I can get you into more anime. I mean, you've given me a handful of recommendations. Admittedly, I have yet to experience any of those recommendations, but I do have the list still. I should, like- God. I really should, like, set aside some time to just start showing friends things I like. I keep trying to get you, uh, to watch Coyote Ragtime Show, too, but... I want to watch Coyote Ragtime Show. It's in my, uh... I think... It's like, I think you would like it, and that it, like... Dog, so do I! And, and... and <laughs> yeah, no, it's like, I think you would like it, and, and me saying that from a perspective of having, like, very, very few crossover interests with you, it's... A push. <laughs> 
what? <laughs> I'm currently uh, binging through um, Golden Kamui. I'm reading the manga. Fucking listen, I've talked about. I'm gonna talk about this a little bit before I get back on my weird tangent. So like, fucking um. Uh, so, like I said, I love weird historical revisionist fanfiction, right? I love, like... I love historical fiction in general, but I specifically really like... Whatever the fuck the Japanese do. Where they're like... Uh... I think more American media should do what fucking Japanese media does and just be like, Nah! Actually, that's not how it happened. Uh, here's the funny historical version. I'm saying that we should be more ready to make, uh, presidents into cute anime girls, but that's neither here nor there. Partly because I think they'd hate it. But, like... So I'm reading Golden Kamui, right? And the premise of this manga is pretty funny. It's pretty cool. It's... Is it like year 36 in Meiji? So it's like 19... I think they said it's 1906? I think it's 1906. It was right after the Russo-Japanese War. Uh, our protagonist is a veteran of the Russo-Japanese War. Who is living in Hokkaido, panning for gold. And he hears this rumor that this cache of Ainu gold, the Ainu are, uh, Japanese natives. Uh, he's like, this, this cache of Ainu gold was stolen, uh, by a convict who then was sent to a maximum security prison and he tattooed, uh, the map to, the treasure map to the gold on some of his fellow convicts. Uh, so our protagonist, Sugimoto, uh, teams up with this little Ainu girl uh, named Asirpa, and they, and uh, a former escape artist and they're out to hunt down these other convicts so that they can find them and, uh... So they can find them, either get copies of their tattoos or skin them, and then they can get the cache of Ainu gold, right? So that's the whole premise of the series. And that's pretty kooky crazy. It's one big cool treasure hunt, right? Well, they're talking to this escape artist. And they're like, uh, what are we, what are we working with here? Like, who was the guy who masterminded your escape? And he's like, oh, he was some old guy. He was like, like 70, 80. Uh, and I heard rumors that he was Hijikata Toshizo. Now... For those of you who aren't autistic, like me, uh, Hijikata Toshizo is a real person. Uh, and he died about 40 years prior to that. He died at the Battle of Toba Fushimi at the end of the, uh, at the end of the Japanese Civil War. Uh, except in this manga, no, he didn't. Nah, Hijikata didn't die, what are you talking about? Uh, it turns out, the fucking Satsuma revolutionaries, uh, captured him, and they were holding him in this, like, maximum security prison, so that they could have- so that, uh, they could publicly execute him as a statement about the new government. I love shit like that. I love that they're just like, oh, your history books say this this person died? No, he didn't. Mm -hmm. It'd be way cooler if he didn't. And spoilers, he's 71, uh, hot, and sick as fuck. So like, 
What <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Say no? This motherfucker This motherfucker is out here at 71 breaking necks and taking checks with a fucking uh with a 44 caliber Winchester rifle and a katana. That's sick as hell! That's sick as fuck! What am I supposed to do? <laughs> also, like, once again, I also love, um... I love this series also because I'm a big fan of, like, hi, we are now going to have these really cool, nuanced conversations about war and PTSD and how war changes men fundamentally as people. Uh, also, haha, this is the funniest boner joke I've ever seen in my life. What the fuck is happening? Where the fuck am I? Sorry if I'm lurking a little, I'm beyond busy. Hiya, it's alright. Aiming to be the last person to not have seen Trigun to keep making people watch him. True. Keaton is one of the reasons I finally buckled down and watched One Piece. I'm nearly all the way caught up now. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm so glad for you. I hope you're having a blast. Yeah, outside of maybe the SCP stuff, I don't know if Heaton has bestowed upon me any of any interests specifically. I mean, yeah, I don't think so. Outside of maybe SCP, because I, I again, I don't even remember if you were the person who got me into it or if I, if uh. You just like triggered the the uh the the brain rot about it. I think it's the latter. I think it's that we bonded over it and then I was the one who pushed you into becoming a menace. <laughs> I think it was that. Uh it's possible either way. Uh let's see. I know uh I know Cuspert has been uh Trying to push me back into the glee hole. Why? Because they're- they really like glee. They heard that I was once a glee. <laughs> they're just trying to like, poke and prod. It's like, come on, we need to- <laughs> Tell We need to bond over something. Tell Cuspy I said get well soon. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, just that poking and prodding of trying to trying to bring back the brain rot. <laughs> that happens more often than than me. Like, I guess becoming a really big fan of something is just someone like re-triggering like old memories. <laughs> God, same. Yeah, the recurring- Any particular reason you were looking for this much copper? I'm not. I'm doing, uh, so my usual uh, my usual go-to, uh, to fill, uh, to fill my time to activate my autism is I like to, I go into the, I go hunting around, adventuring, I go find a cool cave. I strip it for all of the resources it's worth, I bring it back, I smelt it down, and then I go find another cave. <laughs> the copper in particular I use for... Uh... I use for building. Hang on. <clears throat> Also, also, Danica, I see you in chat. That happened one time with you. Again? Only. <laughs> oh my god. It, 
Come on. There we go. Is it screen share? I think it is. I think I actively cannot screen share to you or it makes my computer explode. What the fuck just happened? I don't know. It could also be... Uh, I mean, this is a mod at, this is a mod at Minecraft you're playing, yeah? Yeah, but this has never happened when I've screen shared it with other stuff. I play this all the well, time. I... I don't know what the fuck... I don't know. Oh, it's crashed VC face, too. Okay, cool, 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 cool. No, I'm just... I mean... Listen, man, I am but having a bad day, so I don't... I don't know why I expected any different. <sighs> anyway, as I was saying... Yeah, no, Danica, that happened once with you, specifically. <laughs> and and it wasn't even and it wasn't even that I was trying to prod you into it. I just said that 303 was a Colorado group and you went into the deep dive yourself. <gasps> huh? My face is gone. Oh. Oh! I see. Uh, uh, um, you still have Vito too? I'm using VC face. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> what the fuck is happening? I was asking if you still had Vito tube so you could use that instead. Why is my face turned off? I feel I have walked into an odd situation here. Yeah, technical difficulties, please stand by. <laughs> Looks like I hear it's heating the bed to know where her face went. I'd love to know. Oh, there we go. Okay, there's my face. Jesus. I have- I've become- I've become no better bow. My face, it's gone. Okay, I got it. I fixed it. It's fine. It's fine! <laughs> oh god. I got it. It's fine. I fixed it. <laughs> I lie out. <laughs> okay, I fixed it. It's okay. Um, what if my mods isn't working? I want to turn it off. I want to turn it off and back on again, but I'm afraid it'll explode, so I'm just not gonna bother. It's always a fair warning for to turn it out, I suppose. My fucking... I've just been having technical difficulties! This sucks! That's... But yeah, I, I'd i like to start getting friends into more things that I like, but so many of my friends are busy. Speaking of things that you like, my wife had a question you might be able to answer. Oh? When did Zoro get the scar on his eye? Uh, during the time skip. So, does nobody know then? Oh, how? Oh, how? We have no idea. Oh, okay. We, we have no clue. We've, we've, it's been, he, he doesn't have it before the time skip. He, when we go, when we were during Return to Saba Odi, when the crew meets back up again, he's got it. Nobody asks, and he's never told anybody. So we still have no idea what happened. I'm gonna laugh if he got switched up, went the wrong way, and got smacked in the eye with a branch or something. There's a bunch of people who think that's what it was. All right then. There's a, there's there's a bunch of working theories that it's that the the bit is that it's going to be all this build up and it's going to be nothing. It's going to be that he 
got smacked in the face with a branch or something. A couple of people assume that it happened during training with Mihawk. That's the current most likely theory. But like, we also haven't seen him open it either. So we don't know if he even still has an eye. Like, see. we have no clue. Well, the wife is still juggling with the idea of getting involved in one piece, but it's a big a bit of a beast. I think she's intimidated by it. That's understandable. You'll find one of... This is gonna sound insane, I have but it's... three episodes every day for a year. Kitchen. It's true. She did the math. Oh, yeah, her, her account. It's the... The bit... The thing to remember, and this is gonna sound insane, one, I, first of all, would recommend reading it over watching it. It's just faster. Uh, if you wanted to catch up. Uh, all of it's on the Shonen Jump, uh, app service. It's, it's so, it's such a quick read. It reads so easily. Uh, every person I have ever spoken to that I have gotten into One Piece has said the same thing. And that's that, um, uh, it feels long when you start, and then you get, cl the closer you get to getting caught up, the more you get this feeling of there's not enough. I see. It is, unfortunately, as good as everybody tells you it is. Also, fuck Toei. All my homies hate Toei and they're whitewashing. Yeah! There was the theory going around that it was, uh, to make them more like the manga covers, but then they whitewashed Usopp and here we are. They fixed it, but, like, people noticed. Yeah, more melanin theft. Which is a shame, because Zoro was, like, dark and so was Robin. You know, there's way too much Western media tied to those names to make me immediately think of them when you say those words. It's so true. With Robin, I, I can see why they wouldn't think that. Zoro, I still think it's a bit on the nose. I think they knew what they were doing. Rowa no wa Zoro. That dude named Zoro was a swordsman. Gee, I wonder why. <laughs> oh, by the way, so I, uh... I've been, I've been regaling Lyo with some of uh, the things that occur in Golden Kamui because he is also uh, a fan of like historical period anime like me. Um, we got to have a really cool conversation between uh, Shinpachi and uh, Hijikata, where they talked about. Uh, what they were going to do with their lives now that they had lost the war. I should send that to you. It's just really cool. Should. I don't know should. how this. I don't know how this series can have such like profound thoughts about the nature of war and what it means to be men, and then also in the same breath have some of the weirdest, funniest dick jokes I've ever seen in my life. What makes you think they don't go hand in hand? Dog, I don't know anymore. I used to think these things were mutually exclusive, but apparently I'm a fool. You would think it'd be a tonal inconsistency, and you would be doing it stupid. <laughs> no, it is not. His name could also but be there's Dog. a reason no, why... There's also like a reason why there's something with them in the marine, within the marine corps it's like this is my rifle this is my gun this is for fighting this is for fun and there's a reason why that's a, like that's a chalk true <laughs> also like whatever the fuck's up with ogata is listen i don't i don't want to fix him because to be honest whatever's wrong with him is much funnier This- this fucking weirdo. Huh? So, fucking... Ogata... 
so he's a sniper, right? And we've we've seen him a bunch. He's around. He's been an antagonist. He's spoiler still is. Um and he's like a for real like no emotions sociopath. And we've seen him around just kind of doing shit and being present. Originally he was part of the army and then he deserted to go do his own shit. And we don't really know what his motivations are at the given minute. He's just real weird. Uh, we did finally get a little bit of his backstory, which was cool. I was like, oh, we're gonna learn some more about Ogata? Yeah! So, um, he was the son of uh, a powerful military official, and I'm like, okay. That explains why he, a little bit why he's like that, TM. His mother was a geisha, he was a bastard child. I'm like, okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Interesting, interesting. Uh, his father stopped showing up to see his mother after his legitimate son was born. I'm like, all right, cool, 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 cool. And he's like, uh, every day my mother made uh, the same meal because it was my father's favorite and she made it in the hopes that on the day he would come home, uh, he'd want to stay with us. And I'm like, oh, this is very sad. And I, I was like, I bet I know where this is going. It's gonna be that, you know, like, she made it up until the day she died, and that'll- that'll be tragic and sad. No! Uh, there's a bit of him talking about how he got tired of eating it, uh, because it just made him frustrated. So he went out and he shot a pheasant for his mom to make instead, and she didn't. So he poisoned her with strychnine and killed her. Why, though? Because he was upset. He could have just left. Could have. Absolutely could have. <laughs> yeah, fed her rat poison and killed her. Well, I just got back, so I had to, I don't know what's we, being talked about. And we were just like, <laughs> hey, hey gang, what? Also, once again, um, fuck Americans in this goddamn manga, because a fucking, uh, some random western cowboy is like, hey, I want to help, uh, I want to help settle northern Japan. I want to help settle Hokkaido, because that's where they are. And I'm like, all right, cool. And then he's like, yeah, I helped to drive the Hokkaido wolves to extinction because I was feeding them poison bait laced again with strychnine so that I could kill them for their pelts. And then there's, well, that's a, awful. there's a fun little author's note that's like, yeah, this is real. This happened. People did this, and I'm like, I hate people. <laughs> stop having, <laughs> stop having the country be closed. I love that. I love that bit of like, stop so having the country he... be closed. Mhm. Mm um, did you just find out last night how Saito died? Yes. Oh, that's sick as fuck. Ow. Well, because I was so. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Suffer from stomach ulcers. Decided, so oh, screw this. I'm going to go downstairs and sit and say it's and die. That's fucking sick as hell. So I was, uh. So for the for the reference of chat, who's like, who's probably like, what the fuck are you talking about? Also, thank you for the follow. Uh. So. Oh, my computer's being the bullshit right now. I have no idea what's going on. So, uh, I was having a conversation with Dio about, because this takes place in Meiji and I have autism, I was like, I wonder if, uh, I was like, I want, basically, I wonder if. So I went and I looked it up. Uh, the answer to my question, which was, I wonder if, uh, some of the Kenshin crew would still be alive amounts to canonically everyone but Kenshin would be. 
because even leaving the shit tier garbage that is reflections aside, uh, the trader said that he lives, he doesn't live much longer, he lives to be about 45, and then he gets sick and dies. Um, so, he would have, he would have, uh, perished from his weird illness, uh, Uh, but I was looking up, I was like, would Saito still be alive? Because I was thinking, like, I bet that'd be in an interesting confrontation after all these years with his former vice commander. And so I looked it up and I was like, well, yeah, he'd still be alive, not for much longer because he dies in 1915 and this would be around 1906. Yep. So he wouldn't have been alive for too much longer, but he'd still be alive. And... Kind of... Kind of weird that, like, if Saito had lived in... Um... You broke up, I couldn't hear a word you said. Okay, so it's kind of weird when you think about it in terms of time. If he had lived another 15 or 20 years, he would have been around. Um, but I, so I looked it up. I was like, I was like, how did he die? Because I was curious. So, he was... He was 81 when he died. He was 81 years old. He was an old-ass man. He was dying of stomach ulcers. Yep. Uh, presumably from his drinking. And when they found him, he was sitting Seiza. Which, for most of you in chat, probably don't know what the fuck that means. Uh, but Seiza is the way that... You know how... Um, in like, for those of you at home who have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about, you know how in uh, samurai movies or in like anime, the way that they sit, where they sit with their back straight, where you sit on your ankles with your like legs folded under you, that's sitting Seiza. They found him sitting upright, sitting Seiza when he died. At 81 of fucking stomach ulcers, an incredibly painful, miserable way to die. It's fucking sick as hell. It's hardcore like that. The whole Shinsengumi and Gumi was cool. They were all cool. Uh Sarazawa Kama wasn't. That dude was a dick. Eh. They they make a I think they make a joke about him in Golden Kamui actually. I think he makes a comment about Kama. Yeah, well, he needed to die anyways. They're talking about uh the boy fail known that uh that functions as their escape artist. And they mention uh um, Hijikata says something to the effect of, like, I wonder if he'll, uh, he says, like, I wonder if he'll be, I don't remember if it's Kamo that he talks about in that instance where he says, I wonder if he'll be a Kamo, but he says, I wonder if he'll be a Saito or, uh, I think it's a Kamo. Like referring to whether or not he'll be useful as a spy, and that made me that made me chuckle a little bit. He said, "I can tech this," and he did. Well, no, he didn't because he died. But <laughs> it was uh, it, it, it's more on the lines of uh, you know what? If I'm gonna go, I'm gonna be really cool while doing it. I'm going to be sick as shit. Which is- seems to be the recurring theme. The only- well, yeah. I was gonna say, I think the only person who didn't die a sick-ass death is, uh, Okita, and it was because he 
had, uh, thank you for the follow. And it was because he had, um, tuberculosis. Uh, tuberculosis, yeah. I was, my brain kept wanting to say syphilis, and I'm like, that's not right. So if anybody in Shinsen Gumi would have died of syphilis, it probably would have been Hichikata. I love that they make a joke about that in Golden Kabui. He's talking to, oh. he's talking to fucking to Shinpachi, and he's like, yeah, the only, one of the things you matched me in was, uh, our love of swordsmanship, of adventure, and women. Hmm. And listen, they live up. They live up to the stories. Yeah, Hichikata's is fine. Oh my goodness, he's a hot old man. I don't know what to tell you. Oh my goodness. Wood. Uh, nothing, nothing. But I'm gonna go ahead and hop out for now. You guys have fun. All right, later. Look, if it's any consolation, Heaton, I will judge you. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm right. <laughs> Five. If you if you saw, you'd get it. I uh, would I? I don't think you'd agree, but you'd be able to get it. You'd you'd comprehend where I'm coming from. That's still a good question. Will I? I almost never seem to relate to you guys' tastes. We'll get you one of these days. It'll be fine. You say that. I want to get... Uh, I don't believe it. I want to get more of my friends, specifically into Sengoku Basara, because God, there's something so inherently deeply hilarious about, hey, do you want to watch one of the great emperors of Japan punch the Sea of Japan out of existence? I fuck... I, huh. I love... I love this fuck... I love these fucking games. Hideyoshi Toyotomi just punches the Sea of Japan so hard that it stops existing. That it just fucking disappears. It just goes away. And personally, I think that's sick as hell. More chest loot. Yeah, it's such a shame that I am the way that I am because I can't like recommend anything to anyone. <laughs> uh, I want that fucking. I want that. I'm so glad that you mentioned this, James. I want that fucking Carby statue so bad. So they're doing. They're doing a pop up parade for Carby. For the Kirby car. Mm -hmm. Uh, but you don't, you don't understand. It's so fucking I funny. I don't, you're correct. Because the pop-up parades are like the nice tall ones, right? They're the, they're the nice big ones that, Shh. that Good Smile does. Sure, I... And I love them, they're really cool. Shit. I've broken my ankles. Uh... Uh, Yo has sent me. Yo has sent me screenshots about the character in question. I'm. I don't get it. Cool. Anyway, and feel free to continue. Uh, <laughs> I didn't say it. <laughs> but uh, also, if you have time to be sending screenshots, you should get in this call. I want to talk to you. Um. But. Uh. I want the Carby pop-up parade, not only because I just think it's really cute. It is, but that's not the only reason. The other reason is it says in the listing that it's a pullback. You remember those toys from when we were kids? The cars that if you pulled them back, they'd shoot forward? Yeah. It's one of those. It, it has the mechanism in it to do that. Oh. I sometimes have to remember that we are not super far apart in age. No, we are relatively <laughs> close. I have to keep reminding myself. How old are you? 27? Oh, yeah, so you're a little younger than me. 
Well, yeah, definitely. I, I knew you were older than I was, but I keep forgetting that it's not much older. Nope. <laughs> yeah, I, I get that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've gotten that one my whole life. <laughs> the surprise, it's I... the tism that does it. Uh, maybe. Listen, I've gotten a lot of not creepy, you're very mature for your ages my whole life. I thought you were much older than you actually are, yeah? I, I wonder what that could be. Could it be my abnormally large vocabulary? That could probably be part of it. Uh, no. No. Also, it is just the I... way that I am, TM. I was about to say, for me, it's 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 not that. Uh, I think it's more like the topics you go on about. Yeah, I'm. I don't know. Finding lit nerds in 2024 is maybe not as easy as one might think. It's true. I mean, it's fun to listen to you go off about it. I just don't understand it half the time. <laughs> I used to read a lot more classic lit than I do now, and Justin and I were talking about this just the other day. He's like, why don't you read, like, actual books anymore? And I'm like, burnout mostly, but... Also, I'm, I just get what I desire from manga, so... I need to go back to finishing Tender is the Flesh, but... I'm gonna be real with you. There's- there's some things, man. Sometimes, things can remain inside thoughts. And talking about how the leather industry would adapt to having to make leather out of people is, uh... Not a particular- is one of those things that could stay inside thoughts, I think. Twenty-five is like great though. Time great time to be making that transition. Why does everyone say that? Do I come off as being older? It's because we have old people takes. Or old people ha hobbies. Yeah. It's why uh um unironically, like not a bit. This is part of it's part of why Lyo and I get along so well. <clears throat> yeah, it's like People who listen to a lot of music, I, yeah, I could see those being younger. People who listen or who play a lot of games, yeah, I see those as being younger. People who read a lot of books. <laughs> I specifically read used to read a lot of classic <laughs> lit, so I used to read a lot of like um, used to read a lot of Shakespeare. I read a lot yeah, of like I, old I, classic novels. Yeah, my 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 point remains. It's like. Y you hear it, and you understand, like, immediately why. <laughs> oh, I get it, yeah. <laughs> All these years of having people talk to me about it, yeah, I know why. I, I get why pe why I give that impression to a lot of people. Uh, I'm, I'm more saying that for the chat. It's like I say it out loud, and you, you could probably get a gather it. <laughs> Have you read a Christie? I have not. I'm not a big... I don't like... This is gonna sound really weird, and maybe I can't properly explain why. I'll do your theater kid in a second. Um... Uh... I don't usually prefer to read mysteries. I like to, uh... I rather prefer to watch them. I think you can get- yeah. I think you can get more, like, subtle details, uh, that feel unobtrusive in, like, visual media. So, like, I- like, for example, I don't read a lot of mystery manga either. Most of the stuff yeah. I read is either historical fiction or some kind of, uh, it's usually historical fiction, action manga of some kind, or, uh, um, horror. I read the occasional- I have, like, I can count the number of romance manga I read on one hand. Yeah. 
Dude, once I get back into my schedule, it's gonna be interesting because I have a, I uh I wound up randomizing a bunch of games to to play for my schedule, and one of the games that I randomized was a dating sim. Uh, what did you get? Uh, there's a game that I have called Life After Magic, which is a a like a a wizard or a witch's dating sim. That's cool. Really want I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. <laughs> I really want it's like, ah, yes, Doodle Tones playing a romance game. <laughs> it sounds like a joke, and that is because uh, it it fucking is, but it's also not. <laughs> I'll mute my fucking Chrome tab, and then all right, let's see. <gasps> okay. Speaking of, all right. Okay. Uh, kiss, kiss, fall in love. Unironically, that's the one I randomized. Jibun to them all. So bani ru kere do hon to wa kirai suki mo so na no. Maybe you're my love, Anita Ima. Dashimi kimi ni sakura kiss. Toki me itarara man koishi yo. Mirai ni yori mo. Ima ga kanji ururu ashi. Haru no koi wa. Hana saku otome no. Bigak. Maybe you're my love. There's your theater kid. God, imagine having the confidence to do that. <laughs> <laughs> the years and years. Could not. Of, I mean. The years and years of being a theater kid. Help. Now, I was cursed with this thing called stage fright. It's true. It's, uh... It's something you really have to, like... Uh... It's something you have to work really hard to get over. And I don't think enough people talk about that. A lot of people assume that it's, like, a relatively easy thing to, to get over, and they're nuts. You could roll a dice I for text. your responses. You could let chat decide. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> I could let chat decide my fate in a fucking dating sim sounds awful. I think that'd be funny. <laughs> Oh, I never- I never said it wouldn't be funny, it just sounds awful. It sounds like it would go terribly. It depends on the dating sim. I might do that. <laughs> I've heard about the Dresden Files. You know, the main tip is to picture the audience being naked, chances are. That might actually be true on Twitch. My- My trick to it was, uh... And, like... Granted, this probably won't work for 99% of people. Uh, I just pretend they're not there. <laughs> like, it's... It, it's difficult, especially when you're, like, physically on stage. It's a little harder, but, like... The, that's how I got over it, was I just didn't- th I just thought about them not being there. Oh, you know, if it was an actual stage, my stage fright gets so fucking paralyzing at times. <laughs> that's- yeah, that wouldn't happen. You're not gonna catch me dead on a stage. 
would love to do some stage theater again. It's just kind of a... It's just sort of difficult, is all. The only way that I have been able to find myself singing on stream is when I am not taking it seriously and just kind of going for the for the meme. Uh, so nobody has actually heard me attempt to sing, which is a good thing, because I cannot. <laughs> and I know I cannot. I do not have the voice for it. I do not have the vocal range for it. I can't sing. You have good uh, hip-hop flow, though. I've heard you- I've heard you rap a couple of times, and you're <laughs> fairly good at that. Eh, debatable. I think this is what I'm- Oh shit! Yeah, I think we cannot keep vein mining our way out of this one, boys. I think, I think if I want all of these, uh, tasty tasty planks, I'm gonna have to just do it the slow way. You could sing like Shatner. Sing. God no. My the joke that I'm uh the joke that I made uh as a kid, although I have since learned that this joke is not even accurate, uh was that I'm as mo like I'm as monotone when I sing as Beck. But like that's not even true and like that's not even true. Like I only knew the one song when I made that joke. <laughs> now I'm just like, no. No, Beck's got like a specific voice that kind of plays into their music. Which I would not even have that. Have you ever seen Mongolian Chop Squad? Pardon? Have you ever seen Mongolian Chop Squad? That doesn't sound familiar. It's an anime about Beck. Oh, then absolutely not. <laughs> hey, did you know? Did you know? I don't fucking watch a lot of anime, Heaton. Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> and the, f the few things of anime I do watch are things you probably have never heard of or have definitely never watched. God, so relatable. Ironically, that's one of the things Susie and I have incredibly in common, is that we, is we both, uh, we both watch very little anime. Susie, because it's just not her thing as much, uh, me, because I read mostly manga, and the thing that we have in common is that nobody's fucking heard of any of the shit we do watch. Shit. I fucked up the timing and I still broke my ankles, God damn it. Well, for me, it's it's less of it's not my thing. It's just more I don't got the time. Anime's usually an investment. Yeah, that's why I, I read just manga. Simply, I just simply do not have the time. It crashed again. You want to join me on Wobbly Life? Uh... <sighs> you sure? I'm- I'm having... Uh, you know what, I'm just gonna fucking- I'm just gonna fucking draw, I guess! Alright. Can't have nice things! I offered. Uh. I'm kinda just on wobbly life right now, in the mines. Yearning for the mines. I too yearn for the mines, but we can't have this! Then join me! <laughs> I want to work in my mines. <sighs> I yearn for the- I yearn for the autistic comfort of my mines. <laughs> I want to be in my hole. The hole built for me. <laughs> I'm 
just saying, we, like, the, I don't remember the last time you played Wobbly Life, and we don't play games a lot together. <laughs> it's true. So I was offering, because I am playing a game right now. Well, with how multiplayer, and you do have it. With how inconsistent my computer's been, I'm not taking the risk. Oh, does my tablet not want to work either? Oh, cool! Cool! <sighs> oh, am I gonna have to- Oh my god! <sighs> you know what? I may just fucking throw the towel in. I can't do this. I'm sorry. It's fine. Everything's been exploding all morning. If nothing wants to work, I guess there's nothing we can do about it. Nobody can say I didn't try. So I guess I'm just gonna send you- I'll send you over to Apple. You did for an hour, so you- so I say you won. Well, you know what? I appreciate that. Tuesday, we'll start back up with playing Fate Samurai. Ugh. Ridiculous. I'll talk- I'll see all of you Tuesday. Goodbye!